I'm going to show you how to survive your first night in Minecraft, so let's get started. I'm going to create a brand new world to show you how to do this. So the game mode is survival, generate structures is on, the world type is on default, bonus chest is off, allow cheats is off, no seed. I'm just going to create a random world and we're going to see what we get. Alright, so I've just spawned into this world and it looks like we've got a plains biome. So, I mean, what biome you spawn in is irrelevant to this, but you want to find wood, uh, you want to find trees like this. And the first thing you want to do is to collect some wood by going up to a tree and uh, just punching it like this. And you will get the wood like this. And you will get um, some sort of achievement or new recipes as I've got. And then you just want to take out the whole tree right, like this. So I'm going to open up my inventory by pressing E. Um, on PC and then I'm going to put my wood into this 2x2 two two crafting menu and you'll see the product is right here so you're going to take out these four uh, oak wood planks and then I'm going to take the oak planks and then I'm going to put them in this crafting area I'm going to right click to place one right click again right click again and again and then you will see I've filled in all and then you can see a crafting table um, is the product. So I'm going to take my crafting table um, out of uh, that product area. So then what I'm going to do is place down the crafting table. Oh dear, I placed down the <laughs> place down the oak wood. That doesn't matter. So I'm going to put my oak wood in there, and then I'm going to take uh, all of that, and then I'm going to put two bits of planks, one there and then one there and then that is basically the formula for sticks the next thing is I'm going to make a wooden pickaxe and I do this by putting two sticks in the middle like this two up and then at the top on the top row I'm going to do oak wood planks and then that makes a wooden pickaxe and then I'm going to uh, break uh, this crafting table and also break this one that I made, uh, break this that I placed down by accident. So the next thing we need to do is find a grey block called stone. And it looks like there's some grey stone over here. So you basically just want to look for this grey block here. So this is this grey block that I'm on about. I'm going to break away this dirt here so I can show you a bit better. So you basically take your wooden pickaxe and then you basically just start punching it but this time uh, you are basically mining it and basically what you want to do is collect as much stone as you can get but I'd recommend around 20 because there's a lot of things that this stone is going to make um, so you want to make sure you collect a nice amount of it uh, especially this early on because there is basically two things we're going to make from this and players of the game will know exactly what I mean and um, yeah, they're probably right so I've collected 21 um, but basically I'm going to place down my crafting table and then I'm going to take the cobblestone and I'm going to do a big circle like this with the cobblestone and that makes a furnace and obviously we cannot use the furnace because we need coal and that's going to be the next thing that I do so the next thing I'm going to do is take two sticks put them up like this and then instead of the wood I'm going to put cobblestone and that makes a stone pickaxe so then we can break away this actually no we're not going to break away this we're going to do one more thing we're going to take our oak wood planks make sticks again and then this time I'm going to put them up like this, but instead of making a pickaxe, I'm going to take my cobblestone and I'm going to do this. And that makes a stone axe. I'm going to put that into my inventory slot. And then I'm going to break my crafting table. Um, I like to uh, to sort of arrange my hotbar like this. So this is the hotbar and then this is the inventory. So basically you would consider this like your backpack, even though we are visibly not wearing one. But the next thing we're going to do is collect some more wood. Um, just so we have it on us. And this time it's going to be a lot quicker than using our hand than the first one. 
because we've got a stone axe. So this is probably the most efficient uh, beginning that you can get in a Minecraft world. So basically the next thing we're going to try and get is coal. But before we do, I just want to acknowledge and people that have been watching this and know how to play Minecraft would have been screaming at the screaming at the screen saying that there is a village. Now this is what's called a village. So it's basically a a village <laughs> that you would find in real life with these people wandering around. These people are not dangerous at all and uh, they basically run the village, they live here and uh, yeah that, that's, that's basically what a village is. It's got a couple houses around and there's usually these hay bales and it's a great place to find um, if you basically if you've just uh, joined into the world for the first time and I want to just um, make sure that you know about the sun. So this sun is going down currently. So it started over there and it's been going all the way around today. So in the time I've got all this, the sun has nearly done one round of uh, the world. And when that goes down, the monsters spawn. And what I mean by monsters is you get zombies, you get spiders, you get skeletons, and you get all these different mobs, there's a lot of them. And um, that is why we want to get wool. And wool is basically a very important um, aspect of a bed. And you need a bed to sleep through the night. And I'm basically going to attack a sheep. So this is a sheep, and I'm basically going to attack it with my pickaxe. I probably should use a sword, which I could have made, but I'm not going to. So you need three pieces of wool. And as you can see, each sheep drops one bit of wool. So what I need to do is need to find one more sheep and then I'm going to kill it and then I should be able to get a bed. And usually in, the, in, these plain, in these plains biome you would uh, get a lot of um, animals spawning so I just need to find um, a sheep and it has to be the same three colours. So you see I've got two bits of white wool so that means I need a, another bit of white wool. So I need to find a sheep that has white wool and you can see it visibly by the colour of its coat and I don't know if I'm going to be able to find one but the good news is is if I don't find one I can still use the village because the villagers have beds so basically what I can do is sort of steal one of their beds and uh, that's uh, probably what I'll have to do. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I found I found some sheep. So, see, there's a big crowd of sheep over here. So I'm actually quite glad I found these sheep because now I can show you how to make a bed. So I'm basically just this is like sheep island over here. Look how many sheep there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's plenty of sheep, and I just killed one, so that would have been twelve. So now what I'm gonna do is head back near to that village and uh, then I'm going to do another uh, crafting formula and this time it's going to be for the bed and as you can see the sun is almost down so if you didn't have this wool and no village you would be in trouble because as soon as that sun goes down the mobs spawn so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and get my crafting table I'm basically going to put it I put it down on the ground and then I'm going to right click to get on it. I'm going to do a row of planks and then a row of wool and that creates a white bed. I'm just going to place it down. I'm going to sleep outside and uh, we can uh, sleep through the night. But there's a few more things that you need to do at the beginning and uh, I'm going to show you what to do. So I'm going to break my crafting table on my bed like this and now I'm just going to show you that you could have slept in the village um, here we go here's a bed right here and you could have easily slept in there but since we got three uh, bits of wool we didn't have to so the next thing is going to be to try and find a cave 
Now a cave is basically an opening in the ground where uh, you can basically go and try and do some mining. And uh, mining is essential for this game, it is basically in the title. And as you can see, my hunger bar, so basically the hunger bar is next to my health bar. And I will probably try and highlight the best I can. So I've only got three. And that means I can no longer sprint around like I was doing before. So it's not too much of a worry. It's just what I need to do is find coal. And you'll know it's coal by the black specks that are in the stone. So it's basically that grey block stone with extra black bits in it. And there we go, up there. Up there, and oh! Now this is not a cave, but more like a ravine. This is what you would call a ravine, where it's like cuts right through uh, the ground and it's quite deep. I'm not going to go in there, because I'm not quite ready. Because there's a lot of uh, mobs that will spawn down there. So what I'm going to try and do is get up um, to this coal. And it's going to be quite difficult because it's quite high up and I cannot sprint. So it's going to be hard to jump. Oh, never mind. I can, I can get this one here. So basically what you need to do is you need a minimum of a wooden pickaxe to mine this. But since I've got a stone one, I will use the stone one, and then it's basically this, and um, that is coal, and it will give you a little bit of levels as well, as you can see the level on my XP bar. So I'm going to mine all this up. The good thing with coal is it usually comes in large, like, bunches, um, like this, as you can see. So you usually get quite a lot from, uh, from one little bunch. And then we are going to use this coal to power our furnace. So I'm going to just mine this last one here, and then I'm going to place down my furnace, put the coal in the bottom of this menu, and I'm going to cook this raw mutton that I got from sheep. So when you kill an animal, you will get some of its meat, and um, that can range from one bit of this to three. Um, you can kill cows, you can kill pigs, you can kill chickens, and um, you can get their meat. And then... You get it cooked when you put it in a furnace and then I'm going to eat it like this by holding down right and then it fills up some of my hunger bars. So the reason you need your hunger bars filled is because let's say I got hurt and I lost some of my health bars and um, if I had full, if I, if my hunger bar was full I would start regenerating my health but if it's quite low I'm not going to regenerate health whatsoever. So that puts me in a lot of danger um, to, di to die, basically. So I'm going to eat this up until I get to full. And there we go. I've now fully regenerated my, uh, my hunger bars. So let's say if I... I'm going to just purposely fall. And there we go. I lost, two hun I lost two health bars and it regenerated it immediately. So that is basically why it's important to keep up your your uh, hunger bars so if you enjoyed this video make sure you uh, hit that like button and subscribe down below for more minecraft uh, videos like this but for now guys i want to thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video